Well, today we're going to make actually chocolate Easter cakes and they're flourless, which is the great thing about them. There's a fair bit of ingredients here actually. Really good quality coverture chocolate, some almond meal, coconut flour, which replaces the normal flour, a little bit of spice in there as well, sugar, plenty of sugar, six eggs, orange juice, a little bit of zest of an orange as well, currants, sultanas, some good French butter and cocoa powder. First of all, I'm going to start off with getting my eggs, sugar ready to go and I want to actually cream them up. I want to melt my butter just very, very gently. I also want to melt my chocolate, same way, I don't want to burn it. Inductions uh, just have this property where they're actually, the direct contact of heat um, doesn't hit the chocolate and doesn't burn it. All our other ingredients is ready to go as soon as we combine everything together. Sugar in. As soon as you add the eggs to the sugar, you have to press go on your whisk. That should take around about five or six minutes and we want it looking thick and white and creamy. This is looking good. Look at that. That's so creamy, white. You wouldn't know that's eggs and sugar. Butter's ready to go. Chocolate is melted. So next step, orange juice. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of zest using a microplane. Okay, we're gonna combine the butter, orange juice and chocolate together. Use a rubber spatula to get all of that chocolate out. Cocoa powder in. Then we're gonna fold this mixture, along with the flour, into our eggs and sugar. Now, folding is pretty easy, just a little bit at a time. Now it becomes chocolate. All of the techniques come together and it all makes sense. Okay, almond, straight in, coconut, bit of allspice, add the currants and the sultanas that were actually dehydrated in the Miller warming drawer. Now, our oven has been preheated to 175 degrees, a moisture plus. We want one burst of steam through the first part of the process. And we've got a rubber mould baking tray. I'm gonna try my hand here at just pouring, free pouring. We're gonna be putting these on shelf two. So the fan has a direct flow straight over the top of this tray. Okay, 15 minutes is up. Oh, and they smell great. Now while that's resting, I've just got a little bit of icing here. So equal quantities of egg white and icing sugar, and then lemon juice to taste and a little bit of lemon zest. Mix it thoroughly. And then we're going to either pipe little crosses over it or we can just simply pour it over the top. Big moment. Quickly onto the rack. If anything, the icing is quite a good idea to put them on straight from the oven. You know, I think that's one of the things about baking is that baking actually comes from uh, France when everything was cooked in a wood oven and all the baking took place when the wood oven was cooling down. So that's why we eat sweet things after savoury now. Our palates have become so used to them. And petit fours come from a really interesting thing, which this is based on a petit four recipe from Vieux de Monde. That was where apprentices used to learn to bake and they would um, never get a wage, but they used to make mini cakes. They weren't allowed to make a whole cake because of the expense of the ingredients. And then they were allowed to sell them on the streets. And that's where the word petty four comes from. That was their wage. So it was good incentive for them to make great little petty four cakes um, so they could earn, earn a salary. Our ice in here, we can do a couple of different ways. I should set straight away the icing. I think you can actually do this recipe in around about 40 minutes. Your first time, allow yourself an hour, but once you get used to this, it really is a very, very quick, convenient recipe. And look at these. Have a go. Happy Easter.